Take the idea of Barras, yes, please. If you want to get notified about the future videos, remember to subscribe to this channel, especially that we are on our way to hit 100,000 subscribers. Why at the same time you can see that only 45% of you are subscribing right now. As you might remember, the first session of the VG campaign was pretty successful. In 40 years we managed to conquer all of these lands. Goal for today, form Barats. To form Barat, I pretty much only need one two, three, four, five more provinces. I was actually planning to ally Sint, but I can see that I need their province for the formation, so we're not doing that. Currently, a lot of nations could join the coalition, but I have truce with pretty much all of them. That is not a problem. I probably should improve relations with Chagatai though, because I'm not planning to conquer them. Varanasi is also right now court, and as you might remember, this is a great project that is giving us co-creation costs, and I guess expansion impacts on the highest level, so let me just buy it and speed this up with manpower ones and a few times with money. Now we'll be quickly saving for the second level of this monument and for the second level of this monument I'll be taking the one person loan, so no, I will be not even saving. I should also clear my fort system because this is a mess after our wars in the end of the last session. I think I will not need the sovereign ones because theoretically Nobody should reach there. Same as I allied Timurs to avoid fighting them in the coalition, I'll do the same with Balochistan. I don't plan to go under these poor mountains and deserts, just give me the alliance. Mr. Kashi Vishwana's temple, time for the level 2 and I'll again spend 10,000 manpower and for now that's it because we have to start saving for the level 3. Anyway, Mr. Bega is of course again allied to Jaunpur and also Malwa. But this is not a problem, I'm just gonna go and peace out Jaunpur and Malwa separately. I think I'll actually use this war to just shorten my troops with them from like 13 years to just 5 years. So I'm just gonna wipe them and then go to Mandu. Now I need Kuch provinces to form Barat, but I couldn't really attack them because they were allied to my ally. But I called Mewar into the war with Bengal, which means that they will not help Kuch over here. I just have to get my troops over on the border and attack. Also 6 diplomatic ideas promise war score cost, so I'll be able to take far more in the peace deal against Bengal. No, 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 <laughs> leave my pros. Like, I hate this AI. They, they have so many promises to just occupy, do anything in the north, and they decide to go and kill my prosperity with the autonomous carpet siege. This is why I started recruiting 10,000 troops to get rid of them. From Bengal, I will take all of the trade centers which means I have to take exactly this kinds of the borders. That's also 100% of the war score to take. Thank you so much. This is not only not bad borders, but most importantly, more trade power in Bengal is gonna come to us. <gasps> and we can become an empire finally. With an empire rank, I don't have problems with GAF capacity anymore. And of course, as an empire, we are the first great power. I completely forgot that I have this 2 2 2 air of. <laughs> no, 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 no. Goodbye, let's try fighting something better. Oh boy, with the last diplo idea and the diplomatic technology cost, the next technology is gonna cost us 294 points. Well, yeah, we're just four tanks behind. This is fine, guys, don't worry about that. I think our next national idea might be useful because it's tolerance of heretics and heavens. I anyway pretty much don't have any rebels already in the country, but it will be helpful when our national unrest increases. Anyway, I'll choose with both Malwa and Jaunpur and that you can see that Malwa is destroying Jaunpur, so I want to take a little bit before I declare these wars because I wanted to attack Sint without getting Jaunpur over there, but it seems like they're gonna accept anyway. So, let me just go and attack Malwa to call Mewar into this war. Let's go and let's go. I kinda don't have time for... <laughs> <laughs> Chao Umpur and Mal to peace out each other. So I'm just go, of course, Bengal will be again helping and attack Jaunpur. Bengal will be peaced out separately. We peace out Malwa and I can take all of these promises. This one is unfortunately hands of Mewar. The rest is fine for us, but he's not gonna accept. Yeah, let's just take a little bit more of time. There goes the Diplotech, so not getting as much corruption monthly for unbalanced research. Actually, I don't know why I'm mad because these guys are allied to each other, because I'm just keep shortening my truce with all of these boys. Mr. Bengal, I'll come back to you in five years and let's go take down Jaunpur. Why for my advice, Self. Good night. Thank you so much. That's probably lots of aggressive expansion, but 
Who cares? I maybe I think I that cannot enter the collision. These guys cannot enter the collision yet, but they will be close. But even if they will be close, will they join? I don't think so, actually. To avoid that from happening, I'll start improving collisions with Tar Chagatai, start improving collisions with Tirhut, and maybe even Hormuz, because Hormuz could also join the collision soon. Okay, 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 okay. Talented and ambitious daughter. I think again, I had this at the start of the game. 3 4 4. Well, that's actually not so bad. Only two stats worse than my current lure. Let me go and take her. And <laughs> virtually a few days later, my. Ruler died, so I have regency, but it's just two years of it. Sin, sin, sin. You have to break your alliance with Hormuz because I don't want to fight you in the future, and also with Jaunpur because I don't want to fight Jaunpur when fighting you. But from Jaunpur, the piece will be a little bit harder because uh, how much of overextension I have? 61. I can take this anyway. With 61, I can go full all in pretty much. I need central drop to from India and. Besides that, maybe some kind of a good borders because Jumper's capital can't take it. Han 26 access expansion, even Pasai and Ase could join the call and what? Okay, let's maybe take a little bit less. There's no rush, I can take them down in the next war. Okay, I think this is gonna be fair. Hormuz will join the coalition, Maldis will join, and Chagatar will join. So I'm just gonna take some time to improve relations with those few nations, including Kashmir. Our PP reached 49, but we have a few ways of taking care of that. First of all, I'm gonna embargo Ming, and then I can also go and scoop for Insalvan. And with this combo, I will keep it over 50 as long as I want to. About time. Annexation is a slow process. Our name placement improves definitely. I should also go and eat these boys. And to eat these boys, I'll need to improve relations a little bit. Eh, Chakata is dying to teamwords anyways. So I guess they're not gonna really join my coalition. You know what? Let me go and piece these guys out. Take full money. Send this. How much of extension we have right now? 135. But all of these provinces are gonna be caught in a very, very second. It's also time to break our alliance with Mewar because this is one of the last Hindu nations in India. And uh, right now we keep expanding into Muslims. That's why we have so much AE. So we'll spread the a little bit by going after a Hindu nation. And we should slowly start thinking about going here. Because Teravada means new areas expansion fields. Hmm, what's gonna be our new air? That's... Ah, that's just... Ruler and through 540. Actually, 540 is not so bad considering it's a single player and midpoints are not as important yet. And as for the new deity, I will keep called creation because I guess expansion impact. Uh, I told you something about being scared of Chagat idea. That's what is left from them. It's 25 of crowns. Let me sell titles and seize land to keep it on 20 and have additional funds to improve Varanasi very soon. The last quantity idea means land attrition, additional force limit, and a new policy, which is giving us diplomatic reputation and land force limit modifier. So our total force limit is already at the level of 101. I told you, I just keep decreasing the truces, which is helping and it's not helping, because my truce with jump is right now for the next 12 years, but we're gonna be called to the war against Bengal itself. So we're gonna shorten this truce to probably around 5 to 6 years. Level 2 monument is there, it's called Crushing cost 7.5, I guess expansion 5%, I want to increase it to 10 and 10% 10 for both. That costs 5,000 though. Do we have money to get there? I don't really want to take loans yet for this, so let's just keep saving. To minimize the amount of donations that could join my coalition, I keep improving the relations to everyone that could do that. Starting with these boys, but then I have to again improve my relations with nations like Maldives or Tirhut. Ooh, hoo, hoo, it's Timur is going out of Delhi. I just hope they will not take Multan, because I need Multan to form uh, Barat, but they at least don't have a claim, so that's our chance. Okay, Mr. Timur, it's time for you. You are a great ally. I really love being your ally, but I cannot keep this relationship for any longer. I really can't really stop at the same time, so I'm gonna go and attack Arakan to also expand east. Oops, the collision started forming. The moment Hormuz could join, so we have Hormuz and Tirhurt so far on it. I think Delhi would be the most scary to join, but Delhi is having bigger problems right now. Oh no! Anyway, anyway in the meantime, as I have plenty of mana and 
we don't have the institution, obviously it's time to develop it. And I do would like to develop in a province that is bordering our capital, for it to spread very quickly then. So if we go around and take a look at the other provinces that are over here. This is not bad, and this is even not bad. Yeah, I think it's gonna be either Mugdal or Savannah. We just need to keep the prosperity over here. So let's just go uh, get the Defcos edit here and let me start deving. That's gonna be deving with mainly the mill points, a little bit of Diplo points, and then also just a little bit of Adri mana, because the rest of Adri mana will be going for coring the provinces that we'll be conquering. And there goes our golden era. <laughs> it was pretty successful, right? But as the golden year ends, I'm very afraid that it might mean that our no coalition period also ends at the same time. Truce with Jampur ended, I had to attack Jampur right away so they won't join the coalition. Truce with Delhi ended, I have to attack Delhi right away so they will also not join my coalition. Just declare and we only need Holy Stand and Multan to form Barat. Okay, Mewar, I could take more but... <laughs> I don't have enough AE to maintain it, so just like as much as they're gonna accept. Thank you so much, and at the same time you can see I'm trying to keep as good borders as possible. Last two death clicks, 99.96. No, God, please, no, no! It always happens. And 100, now that this is done, I'm gonna get the advanced effort here and advancement effort here so the institution starts spreading and it's gonna spread how quickly there's gonna be eight monthly here and 2.2 monthly here and the moment i started doing with delhi coalition is gone from delhi itself i want to only move and coalition and delhi <laughs> because during the war i just got a freaking core on this province i guess that's gonna be pretty worth it let me take this as much as they're gonna accept and war reparations. I actually want a long truce because of the whole coalition thingy. Then let me start coring these provinces. And we need to start getting ready to form Barat. It's the institution time. Let me embrace it. I guess we are the first one in the whole Asia that has the colonialism. Well, most of the nations, pretty much all of them except a few, don't even have renaissance. With 4.2 thousand ducats, all I have to do is to take a loan. Go to Varanasi and start upgrading this monument to level 3. It's gonna take 40 years. Yes, 40 years. But don't worry, I'll be spending some manpower, I'll be spending some money to speed this up. Next guard reform is gonna be extremely useful. That's the Pergamet Marathas Council. So this is gonna unlock me the privilege that I was talking in the first video for Marathas, which is based on the more land they owning, the more discipline that I'm getting. Yes the discipline. Let me take this and then just take a look at this. I'm gonna go and look this privilege straight over here. Right now they have 21% of the ownership, which is 2% discipline, and we'll be slowly increasing that to achieve our goal. And I could actually do that already. So I can cancel the plus one mil points and I can go and take this again. This way, look, they already have 31% of this land share. So which means I have 3% discipline from them already. Alright, right, right. Put the stability to 3, that is a requirement to form Barat. Take the ideas of Barat, yes please. And just take a look at this beauty. Right now we have the stop cost modifiers, state maintenance, nothing really special. Then there is calf compatibility, packs promoted cultures, the cost, discipline. Tolerance of the crew faith, admin efficiency, something that I'm especially waiting right now, artillery compatibility and the years of separatists, which is also gonna be very useful, and at the same time we have the new mission tree, which you can start unlocking. First of all, I have claims from whole India region, so I don't have to make any claims anymore. Then this mission says, United Deccan is giving me prestige, army tradition and the Marathas Ascendant. That is, the Marathas is then gaining 10 equilibrium till the end of the game. Very nice. United Coromandel is 5 mercantilists and Perma claims on the Malaya region. And I straight away got the event for the discipline advisor which is uh, the stability. Yeah, I don't have anything to gain. And the discipline. I'm just gonna go for the admin mana. And we need to use that but how can I use that actually, right? Let's just go and start with attacking Pegu 
in the east and Idan in the west. This way we'll be clearing the borders or around. I'm really sick of AIs going between my forts and Carpus in the middle of my country. I mean, this is harmless because all of my states are in the south, but it's also annoying. So, to prevent that from happening, my fort system is actually not that bad. It's blocking everything except this little tunnel here. This is why I'm just gonna go and build a fort in this place. And for the future wars, that should be kind of a blocker for the AIs. At the same time, I also have only two merchants and someone in trade knows to manage, right? So we need to get merchants. And to get the merchants, we have to create the trade companies. And to create the trade companies, I need to do that out of my subcontinent, so India. So I can do it already or over here. That's why I can already add these two provinces in Bengal trade note, and we are also adding provinces in Burma to the trade company. Mr. Tierhood, I want only to force religion on you because we are already in age of reformation and we need more goals here. And once I peace them out, also take as much money as possible, I'm gonna get second goal over here. Right now I also have to convert five provinces out, I'll be having at least three of them. I'm gonna focus now on all of these provinces in this region, because if I complete this mission in United Bengal, ah, death cost for the whole region, I'm not gonna use that in single player, but more importantly, Burma claims for the whole Burma region to focus on conquering it. As I'm anyway at war with Assam and they want these provinces and I can't take all of this in one piece deal, I'm just gonna go and attack Kosh because Assam will not help them, I'll get these provinces so I'll be able to separate piece Assam as well. This way we'll maximize our gains and get the mission just after these wars. For wars at the same time, yeah, it's just typical 15, 17 for Vijay. Let me start making some pieces. First of all, this little dotty here, which doesn't really matter, no AE, no cost of coring. Thank you so much. And then as a next step, it's gonna be Pegu. And Pegu is gonna be actually lots of like, expansion. But... So... Yeah, let's maybe not do Prome yet. A separate piece Prome for breaking the alliance and taking money. There's no rush of taking them. We need to minimize our Ragus expansion here. And full annexing Pegu, you can see it's gonna hurt us. But as some Mongnang Sipaf would be able to join the coalition if I peace them out in December. So let me wait till December to do that. Kindly reminder, guys. Age of Reformation means turn of war taxes. <laughs> I just hate that they never remind about that when the age finishes. Anyway, let me go and peace out Pegu. That's gonna be full annexation. Thank you so much. Can I concentrate this? Yes, please. Let's start coring. And I don't need the fort in Pegu. That's a waste. Why? I'm gonna also add these three provinces. One, two, and three to the trade company. Because I think that should be enough to get an actual merchant out of them. Ah, right now it's 34% of the trade share, so if we just work a little bit over here, it should be enough. Maybe I can just invest this for the short trade power. That is already 44%, so if I just simply add this one province, that's 48, and with this one province, it should be yes, additional merchant for us. Finally, third merchant to use, and my third merchant is gonna be used, I don't know. Where? Let's do it in Doab to transfer to Deccan. Ah, and I'm also losing my innovativeness. It's actually high, I didn't look at it. Let's take Deck 10 on the meal just to keep it. Mr. Asa, what I need from you is all of these provinces. Let me just double check if you're not missing anything. Yes, exactly those few. Let me piece them out. Look at these beautiful borders. Let's unlock the mission United Bengal. <laughs> I told you, death cost doesn't matter, but claims do matter a lot, especially that I have to push their father because all of them can join my coalition already and we don't want that to happen. Let me just make sure when my truces around here is are ending. Delhi ends in two years. Mewar ends this year. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just make sure that Timurids won't break alliance with us. Let me start improving relations. I actually decided to take a little of the break because I'm on the edge of them not joining the coalition. And I want to use that to get the 10th admin deck. 
and start unlocking new idea group. Mr. Mera, that's full annexation and I think that would be it for a little while with my expansion. Let me just start coring this princess. I'm also running out of the gaff capacity at this point. It's selling titles time! Sell titles, Sizzland as always. This is on the level 33% now and that's 1.8 thousand nuggets. 1.8 thousand nuggets that I'm gonna go and spend on improving the Varanasi over here. So it's gonna end in August of next year. I think it might be a little bit too early for that, but I want to try moving my main node to Gujarat. Right now we have Forge of Trading, right? Let me go and move it to Tata. And then we have to play around with our merchants, because for example, we need a merchant in Coromantle to transfer trade here instead of Bengal, because Bengal go to Doab and Coromantle anyway. Now let's wait a month thing and see how it's gonna change my income. I'm afraid it's gonna be more or less the same, just to make sure it's gonna be higher than I want to. Let's go and protect straight in Gujarat with these boys. See, it immediately drops to 31, but I have actual an idea. So let me collect in Coromandel instead of transferring and we'll also need more trade power in Doab node. Yeah, right now this is 40. And we need to somehow figure out how to increase our trade power in Doab and do good job because I have 57 8% in both. I really should make some states, but you can see I don't have gap capacity for that. I can improve this trade center to level 2, I just need to develop it once. Sick, then just take alone, improve. I will also build marketplaces in both. Now that should be a, a slight difference, but in general I'll definitely need a flagship that's gonna be focused on trade ships. It's gonna be a light ship with trade power, play fleet, blah blah blah, and I'm also gonna build up our trade fleet to be higher. This way maybe right now it's no difference in trade, but in long term it's gonna be a huge difference. Actually instead of transferring from Deccan, it can go to Coromandel Gujarat, doesn't matter, but it's more important to Bengal not to go to Dob because I'm not controlling Dob as much as I should. What if I actually make a state here, because that's two trade centers, then I'm just gonna do this, this, and this, then improve this, and as for Mewar, I'm gonna go and develop it a couple of times because it's a gold mine, so that's gonna be more of income for us. Well, in the meantime, it's time for the new technology, this one, and I'm gonna go and start unlocking admin ideas. I need even more core creation goals, and more importantly, we need the gathering capacity. That made us go over the gaff capacity limit in general, so we could destate something soft, something that is not really giving us much of an income, like for example this state over here. That's far better, and we have to think right now about getting some buildings, because long term it is not gonna be enough. The Varanasi monument is finally live. We have 10% I guess expansion impacts, 10% core creation cost here. My first bonus in this Age of Reformations war score cost versus other religions. What if I collect in the can instead of transferring to Coromandel? That might be at this point also a little bit more worth it. Yep. That's definitely worth it. So in the meantime, I need to work on the Gujarat node and as I make it fully powerful and they have like at least 85 to 90 percent of trade power, then I can think about transferring everything over there. Okay guys, I think this will be all for this episode. How much development do we have? We're getting to 2000, slowing down for a while, only to get the core creation cost and admin efficiency. And then this is gonna be a big push to conquer whole Indochina in Indonesia for ourselves. Well, you remember, we have to break Ming to do so because they have tributaries all over the place. That's gonna be tons of fun. But this will happen in the next video of this series. Of course, if you like me, guys, to continue it. And if you like me to continue it, be able to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel to get notified about the future content. Bye!